As a developer, ensuring your smart home integration is high quality will help provide end users with fast, reliable, and easy to use smart devices. Let's take a look at some of our recommended tips and tools to help you develop and test your integrations. Quality is always important, but what do we mean when we talk about it with respect to your Google Home agent? We want your integrations to be snappy, to do the thing they were supposed to do, and to report back to Google accurate results. We're getting new, richer routines that may be triggered by device state updates. In order for us to be able to use the report state, it has to be highly accurate. Report state is like pressing a button. When you do it, you expect something to happen. Without good report state, the button doesn't get pressed. There are several common issues to watch out for. First, a bad response. Did you send a valid success response that includes the device state? If you sent an error, was it properly formatted using an error code that's defined in the documentation? For device offline, maybe the light switch was off. Maybe your device didn't have power. Is this something your server or app can detect and alert the user to? With tokens, do you support multiple Google users connecting to a single account on your side? You should. Do you have issues that would cause token exchange problems? Try out the new token validation tool within the Google Home test suite. We also have new error documentation that covers proper error handling. Please make sure to take a look at that for more details. In an effort to drive up the quality of our integrations, we're requiring annual recertification through the test suite to ensure that all functionality has been certified as working as intended. The Developer Center becomes the one-stop place for information. Partners and developers will have a single source of truth about requirements, as well as resources for marketing colleagues. This should make both certification and recertification a transparent and smooth process. A request that we've heard from many developers was to provide a documented set of sample queries for various devices. Today, we're excited to share, you can find over 200 sample queries in three different languages for 20 device types. And not only do we have English, but we also have French and German sample queries documented with more languages coming soon. Here's a list of device types that we have documented sample queries for, including lights, thermostats, cameras, robot vacuums, and more. And we're actively working on expanding to six additional languages. Not only are we documenting these, but we are also adding explicit regression testing on each one of these queries that we document to ensure that we identify and resolve any issues before your users see them. Go check out the documentation today. See the sample queries on the device type reference pages. Check out the resources link below. If you have any questions, or if you want to see what everyone else is building, join us on Reddit or follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.